Hello everyone, uh, today in this video, uh, this video here is going to be a bit special here. Um, I'm going to talk about my journey on becoming open-minded and passionate, so becoming so passionate for foreign languages. And um, I think there, 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 are, um, there are some people I need to mention in this video that I need, um, I feel deserve, they deserve to be mentioned in this video because these people, um, they're part of the reason, they're part of the reason why I'm where I am today now as far as, you know, having this open mind for studying languages and whatnot. So I, I think I want to um, mention these guys. Um, yeah, so you guys already know that I'm from Akron. I, you know, I was born in Akron, Ohio. I also grew up in Erie, Pennsylvania, lived in Erie, Pennsylvania for five years. And um, yeah, I met these guys um, when I, this is before I graduated from high school in Akron. Um, first of all, let me tell you these guys' name. Uh, first, the first one, his name is uh, Anthony Keys. The Keys, the Keys family. Okay, yeah, Anthony Keys and Dars Keys. And they're really, really, they're like brothers to me. They're like, I consider them like brothers. And uh, these guys are really good guys. And, um, you know, uh, before I met them, uh, we all went to the same high school. And uh, I used to, you know, I didn't know them that well. I didn't know them, and I thought they were weird because of the way they dress and, and just because of the things they, you know, the, the, the different things they were doing. You know, I thought they were weird. And um, it was just one day, because you guys know I like to play video games. I'm into video games heavily. And um, one day I um, I was in class. Um, Yum, Anthony, his nickname is Yum. We were in math class, and I remember him telling me I had my Tekken. This is this is back when Tekken 3 uh, first came out on PlayStation, the old PlayStation, actually. And uh, I still remember him. I had my... Uh, book with all the moves and stuff in there and I remember him turning around and he was t he, he told me that he had a brother who could beat me at that game say yeah I can you know you can't see us in the game we will tear you up so you know that's how I started getting getting to know those guys I you know we exchanged numbers and I ended up going over there we played and I ended up beating them up <laughs> I ended up beating them up and uh that's how we started but anyway um yeah, I, you know, I started going over the house more and more, and um, uh, Darce, he, he was more into the video games, you know, we he was more into the video games and whatnot, and his brother, his brother, uh, Yum, Anthony Keys, he was, you know, he was into video games too, but this guy, he was really into, like, hip-hop and, you know, breakdancing, and, um, you know, he was into, like, all that stuff, and, um, uh, he listened to like a, a lot of good music, hip hop and stuff. And you know, I used to go over there. I, I used to go over there often to play video games. And you know, I I used to listen to like um, like hardcore rap music because that, that's all I you know listened to. That's all I knew. And you know, I used to go over there and um, I would have my earphones on listening to to the uh, rap music. And then he would he would kind of criticize me. Ask you know, he said why are you. He's first he would ask me why am I listening. What he, at first he asked me what am I listening to, and I told him that you know. I said, I'm listening to No Limit. Who else am I going to be listening to? And he started laughing. He said, he said, man, he's like, man, you, uh, he said, man, that's trash, man. Why you listen to that trash? And I thought he was crazy because, you know, you know, where I, where I grew up, you know, I mean, that's, that type of music was so popular. And, you know, I, I felt that this guy was crazy. You know, I'm like, this, he, you know, this guy, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Talking about, uh, No Limit is trash. So, you know, I, I kind of ignored it, and then I, I, the more I went over there, the more he would bring it up, and then he had, he introduced me to some uh, other type of music, some hip-hop music, Wu-Tang, and, uh, yeah, Wu-Tang, j Rue, The Damager, and whatnot, and these guys were serious underground, and, like, when I first, li when I first listened to that, when I first listened to the music, you know, I, yeah. I thought it was weird because I wasn't used to hearing that type of music. I didn't understand it because I was I was just used to listening to like that rap music and stuff. And like uh, he let me borrow he let me borrow the, <clears throat> borrow the music and stuff. And you know I listened to it. I try to understand. But over time I started realizing that a lot of that music had positive, 
you know, it had like positive messages and whatnot. And um, I started liking that type of music more and more. So um, <clears throat> I guess I could say, um, you know, that's where I started really becoming open minded. Now, before that, I I don't want to say I was. Yeah, I was kind of closed minded before before that before that because I didn't like I said that's all I knew was uh you know listen to rap music and you know me I grew up I I grew up in out of I was in and out of foster homes and I grew up in the projects uh low income you know regular ghetto style and the people you know the people I hung around with you know they everyone thought the same everyone closed minded uh you know a lot of ignorance and I didn't have any role models so it was kind of hard so that's all I knew you know that's all I knew so um, I guess I could say I was closed-minded before then but once I started meeting these guys and you know I started getting into like that different type of music you know I started I started my mind started opening up and I wanted to learn more and more and this guy um, Anthony Anthony Keys Yum I'll just call him Yum because that's what everyone calls him his nickname he, he this guy he always liked to learn he always liked to learn about like different stuff and um, you know I remember we I remember we I remember we went to the library one day and got you know tons of books I mean it was crazy we sat down well before we went to the library we sat down and uh, we talked about it we said yeah we should have some power sessions we want to have these power sessions and see who can uh, obtain them the most power I mean <laughs> you guys probably wonder what do you mean power well, we were trying to we were, we had these contests to see who can obtain the most knowledge, and I I my you know I, I started learning languages you know Chinese, so I, I chose Chinese, and when we went to the library we got all these books I had got Chinese it was all kinds of Chinese books, and I had Hmong some other all kinds of books and then um, he had he he had a, he found this Japanese book he said yeah you should you should try this Japanese you should you should try this Japanese. So I went on ahead and you know I grabbed a Japanese book. I had man, we had at least 300, 400 books. I swear we had so many books we got from the library. And uh, yeah, after we got the books, you know, we started having these sessions. You know, I, you know, we started. I started studying hardcore, and you know, it just, you know, I started learning, learning, and I, and I realized that I really love languages. So, you know, um. I realized I was very passionate for that, so I continued to do that, you know, and <clears throat> I am where I am today because of that, because, you know, first, I met those guys, and I still, you know, it's, I still wonder if I didn't meet those guys, you know, get and put myself in a positive environment, and, and, and you know, I, I was somewhat open-minded, but I was, I still had that closed, my mind was still closed. But I was, I was, I was, I was, I've always been the type of person that that will sit down and listen, you know. So you know, I, I don't know, I don't know. I still wonder, like, if I didn't meet those guys, where would I, what would I be doing today? Because that, I think that in that point in my life, that's where I started becoming open-minded, you know. And a lot of people, like I mentioned before, you know, I grew up, where I grew up, I grew up in, in like ghetto type neighborhoods, and and I, you know, I've been in and out of in in and out of foster care. So I know, you know, I know how these, these people think and it's hard for, you know, it's hard to find a really good role model when you're living in those type of, you know, living in those type of environments. Very hard, you know, broken homes and, you know, everyone's thinking the same and I mean, it's just terrible. And I feel fortunate, you know, I feel fortunate enough to be able, you know, to have that opportunity to meet those guys and, you know, explore different things. Cause you can't find the music they put out there, and um, I'm not saying people. I'm not, I'm not saying people who listen to rap music. I'm not, I don't have anything against people listening to like hardcore rap music or or whatnot. I'm just saying like this is just the truth. Like a lot of the music they put out today, like the rap music and stuff, they don't give a positive image. They don't give a positive image to to the young people. You know, they put this trash out there, and they're not really talking about anything. So I think the music plays another. I think the music is another um it's 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 something else that's important um and it, it can have an effect on your mind. Now I know some people may say some people may say well you can't let music control you and don't listen. Well, that's true. But you also got to look at it that it's subliminal like the things that they talk about they have a lot of subliminal messages in the music. 
So I think that plays a lot of, um, it plays a big role in the way people think, you know, and um, basically what I'm saying is that people um, living in those type of environments, you know, where like where I came from, they don't, you know, they, they listen to that type of music. They're not getting anything positive out of that music. You know, they're not getting anything positive out of that music because they're not talking about anything positive. So I, it's kind of hard to try to rely on that type of music and, and hope that you can someday become open-minded and want to learn about this and that. I mean, it's, it's pretty tough. So I feel very fortunate for meeting those guys. And um, I thank God every day for it. Because uh, to be honest, I don't think I will be doing what I'm doing now if I wouldn't have meet if I wouldn't have met those guys because that was like I said that was uh you know in that point in my life I was what 17 eight six actually 16 17 I met those no I think I was around 17 18 I met those guys so I was you know pretty young and still in high school and uh yeah. And, you know, after meeting them, after hanging around them for so long, I, I came to, you know, I understood why I thought those guys were weird. You know, I, I said, no wonder why I thought those guys were weird, because the stuff that I was in, the, the trends that I was following, you know, didn't match up to what they were following. You know, I was into the hardcore stuff. You know, I had the, I had the, the, no, the no limit earrings. I had the earrings. I had the Jordans, the Scotty Pippins, all that stuff. I had all of it. You know, I was just following the trends. And that's why I thought they were weird. But, you know, after after meeting them, I realized that these, these are some really good guys. Really, really cool guys. You know, and uh, it was serious. So that's why, you know, that's why I'm where I am today. You know, my open mind is, um, that's important. That's the first thing you need. Because if you don't have an open mind, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to uh, excel. You know, it's hard to... Uh, you know, get into different cultures or whatnot. You know, get outside the box. Very, very difficult. So, um, yeah, that's that's my uh, that's my little story there, and you know, um, that's what happened. So, those of you uh, send me messages asking me why am I why am I so passionate for for learning foreign languages, and you know, and uh, you know, like that. That's that's. I just found my passion, and you know, this is what I love. You know, I um, this is, I love this so much. And you know, when I when I was in high school, when I was in high school, like everybody wanted me to play basketball and stuff. But that's I realized that that wasn't something that I really wanted to do. I was just doing that for other people. You know, and I feel that um, I don't have anything against people who like basketball or you know all that good stuff. But I I feel that there could be a lot more people doing stuff, you know, doing stuff like similar to what I'm doing, like, you know, taking it to another level as far as education and whatnot. I think, I, I think that they could do that, you know, instead of just thinking basketball, football, all these sports, because that's not the only thing you could do. You can do other stuff too. But that goes back to what I was saying before, like people grow up, you know, and, and they, that's, if that's all they know, that's what they take on. So that's what I say that, you know, I want to be an inspiration to I want to be an inspiration to everyone in the world, but I, I I I definitely you know for the most part I want to be an inspiration to those people who grew up where I you know where I grew up where I came from I want to be an inspiration to them you know because I know how it feels like if you don't you know if you're in an environment and you know you grow up around like a lot of negative stuff and you know hostile you have a very hostile environment and I mean. I mean, what? That's it. Only makes sense. That's what's going to happen. If you know, you grow up that you grow up that way. You don't meet these people with open minds, and you know, having it outside the box. Then it's kind of hard to do that on your own, living in that type of environment. So, I want to just be an inspiration to those people, and you know, everyone around the world. But definitely, the people. You know, those people that grew up in the type of place. Are you know, in and out of foster care, and growing up in the hood, and have, in the hostile environment. I want to be an inspiration to them because I believe they could they could do better things like they could do better things they could do really good things so uh, like I said like um, this some things you know I mentioned in this video I know there may be some people that 
some people they won't like what I say in this video, but that's the truth. That's real. You know, I'm just keeping it real in this video and just telling you guys the truth. That's what happened, you know, and it's uh you know, I'm very, very fortunate and I appreciate appreciate um being able to uh you know meet those guys and and be in the position I am in today. So um yeah, uh I don't know, I feel kinda I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it. And um, let me. Well, thanks. Thanks for viewing the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for viewing the video.